Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously in part nine, Robin and Sherry pulled off a great blooper and managed to get their storage unit emptied and the following day started heading to Central Oregon. So off to Central Oregon we went. We were kind of happy and kind of sad. Sad that we had to leave Washington and stop our vacation. But at the same time, we're starting to bring all of our stuff home to one location. We were also looking forward to spending a day with Shuri's folks at their nice five acre place in Central Oregon, where we're storing our RV. Well, we're at Goldendale, Washington, which is just at the border of Washington and Oregon. So we're going to get a bite to eat here at McDonald's. And uh, Cinder likes that part because she gets french fries. It's all about the french fries. So I'm going to try from the truck when I'm driving, I'll be careful, but to show you what it looks like to go over to Columbia River. That's what divides Oregon and Washington. And it's real pretty, but it's really windy and gusty, but hopefully I can stick the camera out the window and show you what the Columbia looks like. We'll see. Not sure. Anyway, almost to Oregon. Speaking of food, here comes our food now. Food. Oh boy. Food. I'm not sure who's more excited, me or Cinder. Cinder says, that's french fries. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat. So right after that great McDonald's breakfast, we hit the road again with hopes of getting pictures of the Columbia River. And there she was, telling us we were close to the Oregon border. There is no doubt that the Columbia River is a beautiful river. After crossing the Columbia, that told us we were in Oregon. We only had a few more hours till we got to the Central Oregon area. I think even Cinder knew that she was almost to Central Oregon. And this is why Cinder gets so excited to come to Central Oregon. It's five acres of dog playland. So as you can see, we made it to Central Oregon. Uh, kind of a long drive, but it's an eventful drive, so that was kind of good. Uh, so we're actually tucked away in five acres of Sherry's parents' place, and uh, we're going to keep the RV here. And we're going to actually just leave it here. And so, you know, we've talked about doing sunbirding. Well, we're just going to do it from here. And we could either just come up and visit Sherry folks and it's here for us to use or take it to places anywhere near the Bend, Oregon area. So, it's kind of fun. So anyway, Cinder, as you can see, loves this place. And uh, so what's going to happen now, sorry for the wind, it's a little breezy today. Anyway, so uh, we're going to just relax, probably take a nap today. <laughs> we're up early and spend the day with Sherry's folks and uh, get some quality family time and then we're going to end up getting up really early the next day and uh, the, the rental truck is in the front of the property uh, up in their front yard so we'll be driving my regular truck and the rental truck back down and Sherry's going to drive the rental truck because she says it's easy to drive she likes driving that better than my truck so it's like cool I like my truck so uh, it will take us two days 
unless we're really stupid again and do a 22 hour drive but we're going to try to take do be home in uh, Arizona in two days so we'll be back on Sunday today is Thursday tomorrow's Friday that's a visit all day Saturday we leave so yeah uh, it's been quite a trip it's been really fun we got to enjoy Washington a lot and, and enjoy some time with our friends and uh, uh, it's nice to get all of our stuff consolidated to our house it's kind of funny I uh, uh, one of the things we we're kind of proud of is even though we bought a house we have really practiced being minimalist and so it's funny we've had all this stuff up in Washington stored away and we really haven't missed it so it's kind of depressing to know that we've done so well of not having a lot of junk and now we got all the stuff that we've got to go through and uh, get ourselves back to a minimalist living I'm actually gonna lose my garage I have my garage completely clear and I was kind of proud of that so it's gonna take months for us to go through everything and, and thin it out but it needs to be done so uh, it's nice that we got everything in one spot and uh, then we'll thin it down we can you know give away things whatever we need to do and uh, and so I get things uh, where we just need things that we need <laughs> need things that we need and get rid of things we're not using and uh, or give away things that we have that people other people could probably get more out of so anyway that's my story and I'm sticking to it anyway I'll talk to you later hi guys it's morning on Friday this is our last day at Central Oregon today we get to relax I do have to pick up a couple supplies we have to uh, winterize the RV later tonight and uh, get her ready for storage because um, in Central Oregon they don't get a lot of rain but they uh, it does get cold and it can snow so it's really important we winterize um, but it's kind of nicer here than Washington because it is less rain so I don't have to deal with moisture as much so that'll be nice but it's a beautiful day here in Central Oregon this is the back uh, of the property and uh, this will be nice because uh, Sherry or Tracy could fly up here for a weekend have a place to stay have the RV right here in the property where the house is and visit their grandma and grandpa so yeah kind of sad because we've had such a good time and we really enjoyed uh, our time with uh, Todd and Lane up in Washington and I hope their the rest of their journey goes really well but we'll see them in the fall because they'll be back in Arizona so uh, then tomorrow we diligently just drive the truck and the uh, rental truck 1200 miles all the way home but it'll be nice to get home get the rest of our stuff all consolidated and then <laughs> we got to start sorting through things and uh, yeah so yeah kind of sad but we have some uh, pretty driving to do we'll be sharing that with you so hang in there and uh, we're gonna enjoy the day try to get some nice pictures for you and kind of try not to be sad well good morning guys it's Saturday we are on the road got the RV all winterized and just we're just outside of Bend uh, we're just starting out so we stopped at McDonald's Cinder's waiting for her her bite <laughs> drive me crazy till we do Sherry's in the rental you can see outside there she's got something to eat and we got a long drive to Fallon Nevada today so it'll be about 10 hour drive we're expecting to get there around 5 or 6 in the, uh, in the evening so anyway show you some pictures on the way and off we go heading south Arizona here we come so this was the beginning of a very long drive to Fallon Nevada you can see we're gonna start losing the trees and we're gonna get into barren very barren desert land <laughs> and it just makes the drive seem so long because there's really not a whole lot to see once the uh, we get into the desert area so you have to admire the trees while you can because the trees start disappearing and then pretty soon you're just sitting there driving and driving and poor cinder she just uh, uh, doesn't have anything else better to do but sleep and it's got to be a long day for her but it's amazing how well she does she uh, takes a lick once in a while goes back to sleep she kind of knows what's going to happen 
and she stands uh, uh, patiently uh, on our trips without losing her mind. I do try to stop as often as we can to let her stretch and take a potty break and give her water, but it's just a long, long drive. This was truly part of the drive that we were not looking forward to, but we're almost home. Well, we've been driving all day long. As you can see, some pretty barren landscape. But we're coming in on Fallon. We'll be there in about 20 minutes and show you our motel and uh, get, get some rest because tomorrow we got a really long drive, but we'll be back at Phoenix tomorrow. So, we're getting there. Thanks for joining us on part 10 of our return to Washington and coming back home again. Stay tuned for part 11 where we get into Arizona and we find a big surprise. Not so good. Please subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Bye now.